Okay, I got a request to do some characters from JoJo. Uh, let's see, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Uh, I had never heard of it before. Um, this is the character Nokiaki. I might have pronounced, I most likely pronounced it wrong. Um, Kakion. Anyways, I, I learn something new every day, right? That's what life's all about. Learn a new stuff. Um, anyways, he, it's a, um, he's a Japanese student. Oh, he was brainwashed. Ooh, by the D.I.O. deal. During an earlier trip to Egypt. Ooh, sounds like quite the adventure. Okay, we're going to start with his head. His face is very, um, angular. So, it's a, just an angular face with this roundy top head. It's like a, almost like a rainbow. This is his nice sharp chin. So he's got this sharp chin. So it's this rounded top. Come down and the sharp chin, okay? This is gonna be where his face structure is, his nose and his mouth, okay? All right, we're gonna start with his eyes. He's got, um, I don't know, he looks like a little bit of trouble, but that's good. Okay, we're gonna get his nose here. And then his eyes on the other side. So we're just going to bring that in. He's looking at you. Yeah, he is. He's he's giving you the side eye. And in every picture I saw, he was wearing green. To match his green eyes. So we got the shiny in there and his pupil. And then he's got his, he's got these awesome hair with his eyebrows. Oh, I might even need to come out the eyebrows out a little bit. Okay, do the same thing on this side. Oh, I probably would make this a little flatter. It's a bit round. So we're gonna, oh, the sun decided to come out. Okay, so we're gonna flatten that eyebrow here. That makes it more manly. Okay, so now we're gonna make his eyebrow over here too. And he's doing that side eye. There's that little side eye going for you. A little shiny and pupil. Mm. He's checking you out. That's what he's doing. All right, we're gonna do erase the I don't need that anymore. Okay, his mouth, he just kind of has this little glint, a little flip up at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. I might, okay, so he's got his nose. I might even bring this down and flip it up a little. All right, that looks good. All right, so, and then he's got an ear coming off of here. And he is wearing, from what I believe, an earring. So we're going to put a little earring in there and finish his ear off. And then we're going to erase a little bit of that ear so it looks like it's connected to his head. That's a good good choice, right? All right. He's got... Kind of comes to about down here. Um, these little hairs that are going to come down into his eyes. Makes it look more cool, mysterious. There we go. One on one side, and let's do one on this side. We're probably going to have to erase in there a little bit. Bring this side in. So I'm trying to do some videos before the, it's supposed to be, rain is supposed to be coming in. Okay, so we can erase this top part because we're gonna be putting his hair because he's got some pretty cool hair. Okay, coming off with the center here, he's got some hair coming off this side and a little fling, it's almost like laying wings, fling, fling, and it's gonna come back in, okay? And it looks funny right now, but let's just keep working on it. Now he's got this. His, it's like his bang. And this is the fun part. Watch. Ooh. Yes. So he's got the hair coming in. And it's going to go, woohoo. That looks good. Top of his head. Okay. And some more hairs that are going to come. Bling. Right here. And it's a little sideburns there. Bring his head down and his neck. And we're going to put in his collar right here. Collar and then his hair is actually going to be coming down right there. 
perfect. Uh, let's see. Oh, I get a baseball hat on. Take off. Uh, so anyways, he was sent. So he was sent to kill Jatero Cujo. Man, I am not very good with these names, but you get the point. Okay. Because he's brain. Remember, he's brainwashed. He's a brainwashed guy. All right. We're going to put his chest in. Bring it here. And then we're going to put his shoulders in. So he's got these big flamboyant flamboyant what's that flamboyant's kind of like kind of over the top fancy here kind of like look at me so we have his arms here and his arms are going to come out now he's very muscular all these characters are very muscular so we're going to emphasize his little muscles here some lines in there. Boop, boop. Clean this up. Mm. Super job. Okay. And he's got a waist that is like any female to die for. Very thin waist. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is his chest here. And he's got centerpiece and then like a button here and then there's a button down here and we're going to make that chest come in and it's going to come down fabulous job okay so we're going to just make this his sleeve and then his arms i just simplified it it's going to go up and over Fantastic. And another button down there. Looking good. Now, okay, so let's get his, his legs gonna come down here. This is his knee and his calf. And he has a skirt that's, I think it's kind of like a skirt coming off of here. And that's gonna come in. And then I, the arm I just simplified, I just went up, bring it down. Well, that's sloppy. Up, down, get that muscle in there. Great. Uh, let's see what else do I know. Uh, so, Noriaki Kakayan, that's this guy, uh, is freed and joins Jotaro on his quest to save Jotaro's mother. Oh, that is, that's quite the request. That's quite the adventure. Okay, so this is the other part of, it's kind of like flopped open. His skirt, escape, whatever it is. And this is his little tushy buns right there. And then this other part of the skirt is gonna flop open here. And we're gonna be making this part of the skirt I think I made it open too much, but that's fine. It doesn't, right? And this is going to just come in. I'm probably supposed to make this come out a little farther. So I'll do. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, what else do we know? Ah, he's perhaps, this guy's perhaps the most unreplaceable member of all the Crusaders. Oh, sounds kind of fancy. So, um, so as he's in the Bizarre Adventures of Jojo and Noriaki is a core ally in the Stardust Crusaders. Oh, that sounds fancy. Okay, so now we're going to do the other knee. So we've got the other leg coming down. This is its other knee. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, it looks a little different, but that's okay. Get his big old muscles in there. This is his calf. I made it open more, but that's okay. It still works. It still does the job, right? Right. All right. Um, 
So this whole show is a Japanese manga series. Mm. Written and illustrated by Hirohito, Hirohiko Araki. Anyways, there you go. Yes, I know I probably mangled it and I apologize, you know. I apologize. I'm sorry. It was good intentions and it's amazing. Your written and illustrations are, because he illustrated too. Written and illustrated. That is amazing. So, if the writer ever sees this, I just want to say my hat's off to you and you are awesome and amazing. And... When people copy something you've done, it's out of pure admiration. All right. So I'm going to sharp, sharpie this and then I'm going to show you how I color it. Okay. So let's get to sharpening. I'm going to use a thick sharpie on the outside. Now I'm going to erase. <laughs> Wow, well, I wrinkled my paper. Ugh, don't you hate when that happens? You're erasing. This kind of crinks up. Okay, we've got peach here. All right, there we go. We color in his skin. Uh, I will do more research. I know uh, the person that requested this wanted all the characters, so maybe over time, but I had to start with one. And he looked very interesting. All right, now I'm gonna get the tan. Definitely wanna go under the chin. And in the ear. And then around the face. And as you go around the face, just lighten it up on the edge here. Uh, That looks amazing. You can go around the eye too. Okay. Uh, we also put some along here too. So what I did for his hair, we're just gonna color it the base of orange and then we'll put some dark in there. Don't forget his eyebrows because they need to match his hair. Usually they're a little bit darker than whatever the hair is, something around there. Like blonde people, sometimes you can't see their eyebrows. I know some blonde friends that just are toe-headed. Toe-headed means they're just really super white blonde and you can't even see their eyebrows are so light. Or you can be like kind of like a darker brown blonde and then your eyebrows might be darker. Eventually, most blondes that aren't like pure, pure toe heads uh, get dark. My husband was blonde as a kid, and now he's got dark brown hair. And um, yeah, I've got blonde daughters and brown daughters. But the blondes, they went dark. But this day and age, you can color it and make it look good, right? Okay, I am not just going to use red. I'm going to use... This is mahogany or mm, burgundy, something like that. So it's more like a, a deeper color red. So it's not so bright. Put some hairs in there. Anyways, 
I'm sure he's been on some amazing adventures. I can't imagine being brainwashed. That, that would not be fun. I watched a part of a movie last time with my husband and this guy who was in jail. He got, here we go, commissioned by the CIA saying, we'll let you out if you come work for us. But then he was kind of like, he did his their dirty work. He went and like killed people, which wasn't very nice. All right, do that. See how it gave him nice eyes? So his all of his entire outfit, other than his buttons right there, we are gonna do just this. This is that yellow green, and then we'll do the darker green on it. But anyways, he was commissioned to go hire, I mean go kill this one particular guy to find out he was in the same program and was one of these hire kill people, and that the people he worked for were not good people. And so, long case scenario, just a, you know, lots of bang, bang, shoot em up chase scene. A little more dramatic than I would have liked. Um, but then you gotta see to the end. I think it was on Netflix. All right, so we're gonna go. Unfortunately, we don't go to the, we used to love going to the movie theater and getting our popcorn and drink. Movies are not the same as they used to be. And I think most good stuff comes out on paid channels. So, very rarely. All right, so you're gonna be coloring it all green. We got that, right? Right, right, right. So then you're gonna come in. We'll go one more layer. You can go a different direction if you want. Get in some of these layers. Okay, oh, I forgot yellow. Darn it, do I have yellow? Oh, here's the yellow. Hold on. There's the yellow. So the this is yellow and the buttons are yellow, which I kind of colored in by accident. This is going to be green too, but I'm just going to show you. We're just doing regular green. And this is when you're going to go along the edge here. And along here. Oh, here comes the sun. Yes. And then we're making it darker underneath. It's like his chest area. So it's going to be dark under here. And then back of his sleeve is going to be dark. And under here is dark. And under here is dark. All right, so you're just gonna go in there and put in the details, and I think you guys got this. We'll see you.